Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Zyplo here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the one-shot Yamato build, uh, what commands to use. I'm going to put the commands in the description below so that you guys can just copy and paste. But I'm going to just show you for those of you that don't know how to do it, because um, I've been getting a lot of questions on what the commands he uses, like if, any, if anyone knows. and um, I'm going to just show you guys right quick. So just to show you what Necros does, because he's the one that pretty much you know started it and that's who people keep referring to uh he basically presses one button to do his combo or oh, my bad i did it wrong but he presses his one button to do his combo you see so he does all three of the abilities on the bottom which is phantom strike silence glyph and cold front all at the same time to do a lot of damage to people and then he'll melee after so he'll do this and then he'll melee you see like you'll notice that in his video he does that all the time um he also has his e quick cast so do you see how like I'm not having to target this enemy? I just press the button once. He does that as well. And then he has this phantom weave also quick casted so that he can just press it on a separate button and then he can just go and do his combo to people and then just instantly, you know, pretty much uh, one shot them is what he refers to or what he says. It's not really a one shot to be honest in my opinion because you're not insta killing people. Um, you know, like the like it does it does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, but it's not really like an insta kill. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just that he's really good with the character, so he makes it seem like you know you can insta kill. But keep in mind, like doing this combo right here, it doesn't insta kill people, especially when you get into later game when people are building like spirit resist and stuff like that. Uh, it just does a lot of damage. That's pretty much what the combo is. That's it. So if you guys want to see it for yourself, all you have to do is just. Make sure you guys unbind right here first. Unbind your one, two, three, four items, and then unbind your ability two if you do want the ability to be quick casted as well, so that you don't have to target it like this. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it w looks when I first do it. So don't copy this. I'm just unbinding the buttons so I can have it like I guess refresh so that I could show you guys uh, when I copy and paste it. Um, but now when I press the buttons, like I don't have, it's not working. Uh, so I'm going to copy and paste. So this is like, these are the commands. I'm going to put them in the description below, but like I said. So usually I put them in a notepad. The first command is this one. So whenever I press one, so if you want, let's just say you want your actives or like the main button to do the combo. If you wanted a different button, like let's just say you do your actives with E or Q then you would just insert that. But I use one. So I'm going to put one and now every time I press one, my phantom strike, cold front and everything will work at the same time. You kind of have to spam it though because when you press one once, it only does the phantom strike if you have the phantom strike. So you kind of have to press it like twice you have to do it so that you can do the combo, you see? So right here, like I said, this is for the shadow weave. So whatever button you want the shadow weave to be, you know, you would just insert right here, bind four, bind three, whatever. So I usually use two because it's right next to my one. I'll press my two first for the shadow weave whenever I have it, and then I'll use the one to do all the abilities. So now every time I press one, it does my shadow weave by itself without pressing any of my other buttons. And then the last one is um, the one where I bind the ability so I can quick cast it. And then I press bind E, ability two, because ability two is, make sure this says two because that's the second ability. If you want any of your other abilities quick casted, you can just literally copy this and insert it and then you can quick cast for any character uh, you want. And then you would just switch right here, whatever bind you want or for that specific ability. So Q, E, whatever works for you. And then enter it. And now every time I press E, it will automatically grab somebody as long as they're in range. If they're not in range, you'll get like this, you see? Like it'll, it'll look like this if, if they're not in range. So you'll notice like in his video, he just spams this until he gets them locked on sometimes. Um, but like he's good enough to kind of like know the range already. So, so sometimes you won't see that. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys need help with any other characters or want to make any other, um, you know, macros, I guess, for any other characters. Uh, let me know in the description below.